Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the crossover. We've got our first look at all the stuff that's going on. We've got loads of behind the scenes photos and new leaks from Canada Graphs, but also YVR shoots and some other various sources around the internet. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. First up, sorry for my voice, it's a bit stuffy because I am under the weather, but that's fine, we will continue, just ignore that for today's video. And also, please be sure to check out my review for The Flash yesterday because it came back, episode 1 came out, also my trailer breakdown, I know not as many people have seen it, so if you guys can go check it out, if you're watching this video, that would mean a lot. Because obviously we just came back and, you know, everyone's been away for such a long time. So yeah, let's get into today's video and talk about the main topics. So the main topics is all about Crisis on Infinite Earths. And like I said, I'm going to credit the right people later once I get to the segments. But the first thing we're going to talk about is this. This photo right here. This is the best thing I've ever seen. I saw it and I was like, holy shit. This is freaking awesome. This is like the best thing. You get to see all of the cast members in their superhero suits and everything like that. So we'll go around left to right and talk about each individual person and, you know, what's new and what's different. Okay, so on the left we see the monitor. And the monitor is on the Legends of Tomorrow Wave Rider, obviously. That's where they are. So he's definitely doing a scene in here. So he's going to be, you know, around, I guess, like quite a lot in the crossover. He'll be popping up every now and again. And he will definitely have a scene here. So his suit's still the same and everything. Superman's here. Superman is on the Wave Rider. Super excited to see what's going to happen with him. Ryan Choi. I don't know the actor's name, but he was newly cast. He's right next to him. And then you have Ralph, obviously the elongated man, fully suited up. Then you have Cress Williams as Black Lightning. Finally showing up in the Arrowverse, we got some more Black Lightning stuff to talk about in this video, but that is so exciting because, you know, right now his show isn't connected and obviously they're not doing an episode, but a few of the characters are going to show up and it's just very exciting to see him finally cross over and he looks awesome. So he's right next to Grant, obviously the Flash in his new suit. Very exciting, and we got Diggle just in his normal wear because he's not wearing his superhero suit or anything like that. And then right underneath him, we have Brandon Ralph Superman. Oh my god, his suit. I love his suit. He looks great. Obviously, they've grayed up his hair, like I've said in previous videos, but damn, this looks so good. Then we have Lila Michaels, aka Harbinger, as she is in Crisis in the comic books. She is fully suited up in her new suit. Her suit looks really, really good. I'm really impressed with some of these new suits. And I'm very excited to see what role Harbinger plays. Because she plays such a big role in the comic. So I'm wondering if she's going to play as big as a role in the crossover. And Diggle is not alone not being the only, you know, non-superpowered being right here. Because Iris is there as well. And the most exciting thing about this photo is Tom Kavanagh. Some people are like... What the hell is he wearing? Like, what version of Wells is this? But it was announced, I don't know, around Comic Con actually. Yeah, it was at, announced at Comic Con at the panel. We were there. It was super amazing getting this announcement. We were all shocked, sitting next to Pagey, and we were like, what the fuck? He's playing a version of Pariah in the comics, and Pariah is essentially the Anti Monitor's messenger. And so he, this version of Harrison Wells, I'm presuming it's like a version that eventually becomes Pariah, is in this crossover. And damn, this is our first look at his suit. He looks so amazing. That suit is really cool. It's green, it's yellow, very similar to the comic book suit that he wears. And I really love this. So he's definitely going to have some scenes in the Wave Rider. He's going to be sharing scenes with all these different people he will be the messenger unless they're changing it so badly but yeah damn this photo is so exciting let me know what do you think about it in the comments down below okay so moving on we've got some more photos we've got Cress Williams with Grant Gustin they are suited up this was super exciting to see just to see that you know the, they are finally crossing over probably one of my favorite photos they've ever released on the shows Brandon Ralph posted this on Instagram, we have the two Supermen, and we have the Flash, and they're all crossing their arms, 
this is so cool. Like, it, this is the best thing. Like, you see Tyler Hoechlin, and Brandon Ralph, both suited as Superman. We've seen a photo, but the fact that Grant's there in the middle, crossing his arms in his Flash suit, and his Flash suit looks really good in this lighting as well. It's so exciting because, as you know, Superman is Grant's favourite superhero, so it's very fitting and, you know, it's just great to see what they are doing right here. Okay, so then we move on to the next photo. We've got Alex and Kate Kane, so, aka Batwoman. This is amazing. I love this photo. I think it's really cool to see them crossing over because, obviously, I think they would make a great pair. But we're not going to talk about that because we love Alex and Kelly, or... I do, so this is super exciting, I can't wait for them to interact, and yeah, so let's move on, so we had this photo, it was like a moving photo, we have everyone in the background, you got Superman, you got Lila, you got the Flash, and Cress Williams is taking control of the Wave Rider as Black Lightning, and it's just super cool. Okay, so then we move on, this is from YVR Shoots, Hollywood North Buzz, they got some photos, and so you have this photo of Supergirl and the Flash. They are together outside, this was in the Legends of Tomorrow episodes, they're actually filming for that and if we move on to Canada Graphs because he was able to get photos on that very same set where they're working together, so it's Melissa and Grant and they're with someone else which we'll talk about in a minute. So we're going to read through some of the descriptions that Canada Graphs was able to get from the shooting and then we'll go over some of the photos. So Grant Gustin as The Flash. Melissa Benoist as Supergirl, and Reiner Hardesty as Joss Marden, aka Weather Witch. And one other unknown actor were on set to shoot scenes for the day of shooting. Please cast to National City were on set, so I think it's fair to say this is the scene in National City, even though it's part of the Legends part of the crossover. And so, early in the day, Weather Witch was holding a large staff. She made a few motions with it, like she was using it in a battle but he didn't have much more context apart from her actually swinging it. Later, Melissa and Grant showed up to shoot a couple of scenes. First up, a scene where the Flash zips in while Supergirl seems to be engaged with Weather Witch, so fighting. Then the Weather Witch is seemingly pushed out of the area as the Flash zips in. Did he save Kara, or was it just a coincidence that Joss leaves as the Flash arrives? And so, yeah, let's talk about some of these photos with Weather Witch and it's kind of weird and I was very surprised that she is in the crossover because she's not like the biggest person like she's been in two episodes but no one really liked her that much she was just all right so I think this is just going to be a really tiny thing I think Supergirl is going to be fighting her and obviously this is in National City so is this that the Earths have merged I don't think so I think this is a version or maybe it's actually the Monitor or the Anti-Monitor sending another person, Weather Witch, over to another Earth. I think that is kind of likely to cause havoc and sort of call attention to everything that is going wrong as we head towards Crisis. And so, I do believe that this is in fact, we know this is in National City, sorry, but I think this is the normal version of Weather Witch. I don't really think it's like an Earth 38 version, but anyway, so you see Melissa right here. You see Grant just behind, they're all suited up in their new suits, very exciting to see them all in their new suits. And you got Weather Witch on the left. Then we go to this next photo, we've got Melissa and Grant together once again, they are by this sort of shoreline. And another photo of Melissa in the Supergirl suit, love the Supergirl suit. Both of them together once again, just some repeated different angles of what's going on. And we have this last photo, and Melissa is seemingly sliding in like her hair is whipping around so maybe Supergirl's just flown in and the Flash has just run in kind of looks a bit like that so if you go further down on Canada Graphs' blog we've got some more descriptions so a bit later the duo were doing a scene that still has me baffled for the most part and the Flash and Supergirl were standing together seemingly with no immediate threat around they turn around once and they go one way before a couple moments later turning back the other way when they turn back around, an older man is standing there and asks the Flash for his autograph. Yes, you heard me right. They had a Flash sign, an item over, over and over again. While not one was done of Supergirl being asked to sign it, even though it seems to be pictured in the photograph. After they finished that scene, most of the cast and crew left. And that was the end of the day. So, you can check out more of the photos on Canada Graphs' blog. There's plenty more. There's probably about 30 to 40 photos, I would hazard the guess. 
And before we end this video, I want to talk about this. So, Kevin Smith, who has directed many episodes of The Flash and Supergirl, is doing a new film. And this new film stars Melissa Benoist and Chris Wood. It's a reboot of his film, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. It's called Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. And we've got these photos, our first look at Chris Wood. And the reason I'm bringing it up in an Arrowverse video is that... We have Jesse Raff here, who obviously plays Brainiac 5 on Supergirl, and Chris Wood, who played Monel, and they are playing versions of the characters from the original film. But what's super interesting is Kevin has made them keep on their Legion rings. So Chris Wood, who played Monel, who was the Legionnaire, has a Legion ring, and Jesse Raff, who plays Brainiac 5, has his Legion ring on in the film. That is so cool. Fuck. I want them back. Come on. It's so exciting. So thank you guys so much for watching this video if you're excited for crisis if you're excited for jay and silent bob please be sure to leave a like and a comment subscribe turn on notifications and i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see.